Hey, looking for something fun to do this weekend? How about maybe one or two extra practice problems? Um, a good way to practice coming up with the equation of the line when given two points is to go to our electronic textbook, uh, question 107, chapter 2, and just hit the Save, save the Earth Games. Mm. And once you're there, what I like about this is um, you have the ability to just grab these points and move them wherever you want. So, for example, I could put this point at 1-1. One, one. I could put this point at zero one or zero zero rather. And if I was to come up with the equation line that goes through that, it's pretty easy, right? The y intercept is zero and the slope is up one over one. So I would just type if I wanted to get that line, um, y equals x, because it's y equals one x if I wanted. So when I type that in, y equals x, oops, right over here, y equals x, I've got the equation of that line. Now that's obviously a pretty easy one, and there's a lot of easy problems I could make for myself, right? I could say, hey, what's the equation in line that goes through there? Well, that's even easier, right? That That's a, uh, there's no slope. I mean, the slope rather is zero, and it's got a y-intercept of zero. So that's just the line y equals zero. And if I type y equals zero, um, you can see that's a red line now. Um, so probably what I want to do is find uh, something that's a little bit more, um, interesting so i'll just throw a point here and here and just say hey what's the equation of the line that goes through one four and back here we've got five six seven negative seven positive six and if i could come up with that line it really would give me confidence that i know how to find the equation of the line uh and uh, i'm understanding what's happening so let's give that a try. Again, this point uh, has a coordinate of negative 1, 4. And over here, the orange dot has a coordinate at negative 7, uh, positive 6. So let's come up with the equation line that goes through those two points. Um, to do that, we need to figure out the change in our y values. And I'll underline the y values in orange. And I'll come over here and I'll say, hey, y changes like this, right? Y, the change in y is... Um, I can go 4 minus 6, 4 minus 6, which is a negative 2. So the change in y is down 2, negative 2. I can count it, but it's probably a really good idea to try and practice this with arithmetic because sometimes the numbers aren't going to be quite as nice. Now let's calculate our change in x's. So here's an x and here's an x. So x changes in the following way. I'm going to go ahead and take negative 1, and I'm going to subtract from that a negative 7, um, which is negative 1 plus 7, which is uh, positive 6. So y changes, uh, I'm sorry, x. the change in x is positive 6 units. So if I look at that, right, negative 1 or negative 2 divided by 6, that's equivalent to a slope ratio of negative one third. So I now know my slope ratio, and that's one of the two parameters I need to f come up with the equation of the line. The other parameter we need is our y-intercept. So let's write the general uh, y, the slope-intercept form of an equation, y equals mx plus b, and we can see our two parameters. One of them is the slope, and we already know that that's one third. The other parameter we still don't know is b or y-intercept. In order to find that, I'm just going to select one of my two points. In fact, the point I'm going to select is this one, the negative 1, 4. And I'm going to plug in the x and y from that with my slope parameter, and that will allow me to solve for b. So let's go ahead and plug things in. Uh, my y value, it was highlighted in red, is 4. My slope is negative 1 third. And my... Uh, x value is negative 1 and then plus b so you can see here i've got um i need to negative one third times negative one is positive one third so this is four equals one third plus b and i'm just going to simply subtract one third from each side um, and four minus one third should be three and two thirds um, and that is exactly what b is now, um, it's probably more convenient to write 3 and 2 thirds as an improper fraction, 9, 10, 11 thirds. So I'm going uh, I'm to write that as 11 thirds, just because it's easier to enter in um, on the website. But the equation of the line now, I know, right? The equation of this line is y equals negative 1 third 
x and then plus 11 thirds, 3 and 2 thirds. So let's enter that and verify that indeed it gives us exactly the line, whoops, missed, that it gives us exactly the line that goes through these two points. So let's give it a try. I'm just going to enter that equation here. We think that the slope was negative one third, so y equals negative one third. And I hit the right arrow to get out of the denominator there. Negative one third times x, oops, I forgot to say y equals, y equals negative one third, and then times x. And you can see I've got a, a line that certainly looks like it has a slope that's perfect. And then I'm going to add to that, just pop it up um, plus 11 thirds. And as soon as I do that, I get exactly this, this wonderful line that is moving exactly through these two points. Um, so again, you know, I'm, I'm not a fan of giving, you know, everyone lots and lots of practice, but I am a fan of giving you just the right amount of practice that you need. And ultimately you're the one that has to decide that. So if you're having a difficult time coming up with the equation of line, given a slope and a point or given two points, um, try, try several problems like this and just get good at it. And once you're good at this and once you can do this, um, you know, it, it doesn't, I don't have to, you don't have to keep practicing a bunch because you understand. Uh, this is Mr. Roberts. Hope you have fun with that this weekend. I'll see you in class on Monday.